Hey guys, it's Malachi here. I'm, uh, I've been writing and journaling all night and just felt I needed to get this message out for whoever may, may need it. Um, I'm going to talk about love and unrequited love. Being stuck in that place where you feel deeply about somebody, but they just don't feel the same as you. You see, like one of the hardest lessons that one can face is trying to love someone that can't love you back. It becomes exhausting, to say the least, especially when you're holding on hopes, thinking that eventually they may realize your worth and come around. As human beings, when someone isn't ready for us, the worst thing that we do to ourselves is lose ourselves. A lot of times as human beings, when we get into situations like this, we spiral out. We go into this dark state, into the crevices of our shadows, and we spiral out into self-doubt and then panic <laughs> and like all these other crazy dark emotions. And then we end up trying harder which is insane. Like, I don't know why as humans we do this, but we try harder to continue to show up for this, these people and in hopes that we may be able to change their mind. But the thing is, we can't. When that doesn't work out, then we go even deeper into this darkness and start spiraling, thinking, well, could I have said something different? Could I have done something different? What did I do wrong? Was I worthy enough? Did they like me enough? Like what happened? Like, you get, we get confused and lost in this super self depleting state. And the truth is nothing could have been different. Nothing you did as a person could have been done different unless you were being super toxic then that's something to evaluate. But if you were being genuine and loving and they just couldn't reciprocate it, then that's not on you. You see, the truth is, is if someone isn't ready for you, the beauty, the uniqueness, and the talent that you are as an individual, as the bright star that you elude, they just simply aren't ready. And nothing can change that until they are ready for something bigger. You got to remember to never let your light dim because you are an amazing person. If they can't see that for what it is, then that's n not your issue and it shouldn't become your issue. But a lot of times we end up spiraling there. So I wanted to bring this message for anybody that needed that because, you know, I've been there. We've all been there in one form or another. You got to remember that the person that says to you that they're into you, but they're just not ready for you. What they're truly saying is that they're not ready for themselves. They're not ready to dive deep into something bigger than what they are as, as a single whole essence. They're not ready to expand. They're not ready to experience something different. And no matter what you do, that's not going to change. So it also means that no matter what you do, you're never going to get the best of them. No matter how wonderful you bring, whatever you bring to the table, they're not going to show up for you like you show up for them. And you deserve nothing but the best. Remember that. You deserve more than crumbs. You deserve more than being backburned. You deserve more than being lied to and manipulated for somebody else's pleasure. You deserve so much because you are a bright, beautiful person. And don't ever forget that. Don't let somebody else's, I guess, what would the word be? Don't let what somebody else doesn't see dim who you really are. Like, that's it. Like, the best thing that you can actually do in a circumstance like this is take all that love that you are giving to them and turn it back onto you. Find ways to give that love back to you because love should never be a battle to fight to hold on to. Love should flow naturally and it should flow back to you. You shouldn't have to fight to the point where you feel like crap.
that you feel not good enough. You should never have to feel that way. Plain and simple. You're amazing. Don't let anybody, if they're not ready for you, walk the fuck away. It's their loss. (coughs) Excuse me. (laughs) Sorry, guys. Like I said, love should never be a battle that you have to fight to hold on to. It should flow to you so naturally. Like the essence of who you are. It just comes out naturally. (coughs) Oh man, time to make a wish, I think. I want you to remember this, guys. That even when you are feeling fragile and less than nothing, or that you're not enough, or that you're consumed in this self-doubt and depleting thought patterns. I want you to always remember that you are amazing and full of everything that makes you whole enough to be loved more than halves, because you deserve to be loved wholly through the whole essence of who you are, like the love that you are giving out. And if somebody can't do that for you, shut the damn door. Maybe they may realize it later. Maybe they won't. But that's not your fucking problem. That's theirs. And sometimes it's really hard to get that through oneself. But when you get to that point where you realize that, you know what? I keep shining and I'm going to keep shining. And eventually somebody is going to see that and they're going to bring it. You know what? It shifts so much for you. So I want whoever needed this message to know that you are enough, that you deserve to be loved wholly for the essence of the, the whole beauty that you bestow upon everybody else. I really hope that this message was great. And I apologize for sneezing like twice, but everything happens for a reason. Much love. Have a good night, guys.